Hi, everybody. Okay, so I want to finish up uh, the discussion from before about the formula for the number of subsets of a set with n elements, the number of k element subsets of a set with n elements, by giving an inductive proof uh, of where the formula for n choose k comes from. So um, this is the second proof of this. I, I, in the previous video, I gave the proof that's in the book. This is a uh, more, I guess, more formal approach using induction, but also I think has a key idea in it. So um, let me remind you of what we want to prove. We have this um, n choose k by definition is the number of k element subsets of a set with n elements. And we have this formula for it. Nk is n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. And we gave one argument for why that's true in the previous video, where we looked at sort of dividing up the permutations, the k permutations into, into columns, where each column were all the k permutations that involved a particular subset of elements. And we got a grid which had k factorial rows and n choose k columns. And since we knew the number of k permutations from our earlier work, it was n factorial over n minus k factorial. We could put that together and get this formula for n choose k. Now I want to take a different approach. And I'm going to go by, pr proceed by induction. And so uh, to do induction, we start out by first considering the case where n equals 1. In other words, our set has one element. And a set with one element, uh, we have to look at 1, 0, and 1, 1. This is the number of 0 element subsets and the number of 1 element subsets of a set with one element. And both of those numbers are 1, because the empty set is the only zero element subset. And the only one element subset of a set with one element is the set itself. Now to proceed by induction, uh, we're going to assume that if x has n minus 1 or fewer elements and k is at most n minus 1 and bigger than or equal to 0 because you can't have a subset of a set with n minus 1 elements that has more than n minus 1 or fewer than 0 elements, then this is our inductive hypothesis, that the number of subsets with k minus 1, with k elements from our set x with n minus 1 elements is given by this formula. In other words, we assume that our formula works for sets of size n minus 1 or smaller. And we're going to show that it works for sets of size n. So suppose now x has n elements. The way we're going to do this is we're going to split up the collection of, we're interested in k element subsets of this set. So here's our set, right? It has n elements. And we want to count the number of k element subsets inside there. But we're going to divide the k element subsets up in, in, into two classes by first pick some element. Call it A in X. And now split 
the K element subsets of X into two classes. Class one is that A belongs to Y. Y is a subset of X. Y has K elements. And class two, A does not belong to Y. Y is a subset of X. Y has K elements. So in other words, we've, we've sort of picked a particular special element in here. And if you have a set with, let's say, 100 elements, we pick one element, and we're interested in 30 element subsets. If I take a 30 element subset of my 100 element set, either it's going to contain that particular element or it's not. So let's just split them up into two cases, and we're going to count those two cases separately. So first of all, let's look closely at class one. So we have our um, our set X here, and we have our particular element A, and we have our subset Y inside here, and Y has K elements. Well, the thing to notice about Y, how do we make Y? Y has K elements. So Y consists of A and K minus 1 other elements of X. And those K minus 1 other elements of X are chosen from all the elements in X different from A. So in other words, Y is A union Y1 where Y1 is a subset of X minus A with K minus one elements. And how many of those are there? Well, the number of those, so the number of Y1 is N minus one choose K minus one, because we have an N minus one element set, X minus A, and we choose K minus one elements from it. That gives us a K minus one element subset. Then we stick A in, and that gives us our set Y. In class two, Y consists of K elements chosen from X minus A, because Y doesn't contain A, so it's, it's a subset of X minus A. And again, X minus A has N minus 1 elements, so the number of possible Y is N minus 1 choose K. So here's this picture. Here's X, here's A, and here's Y. So in other words, what we've shown is that N choose K, the total number of K element subsets, can be split up into N minus 1 choose K minus 1 subsets that contain a particular element and N minus 1 choose K elements that don't contain a particular element. Okay, so we have this, uh, this relation, and now we're going to take advantage of the inductive hypothesis and use the fact that we know that n minus 1 choose k minus 1 is n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 minus k minus 1 factorial k minus 1 factorial and n minus 1 choose k is n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 minus k factorial times k factorial. And so we have to add these two things together. So this is actually equal to n minus 1 factorial over, let's see, we have n 
minus k factorial k minus 1 factorial and this is equal to n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 minus k factorial k factorial and we, in order to add these we need to put them over a common denominator and for that we need to look at what's missing so this has a k on the bottom from the k factorial this only has a k minus 1 factorial so we need to multiply this top and bottom by k And this has an n minus k minus 1 on the bottom, and this has an n, n minus k, so this is missing the n minus k, so I have to add n minus k times n minus 1 factorial over n minus k factorial k factorial. And now here's where the miracle occurs. I can factor out the n minus 1 factorial from the numerator, and I get k plus n minus k over n minus k factorial k factorial or n factorial because this is n minus 1 factorial times n, which is n factorial, over n minus k factorial k factorial. And that is the inductive step that we needed. So what we've managed to show here by induction is that the um, uh, that the binomial coefficient n choose k does in fact give the uh, correct formula for the number of subsets of with k elements from a set of size n.